So I'm sitting outside gymnastics, but um, I know we have a bunch of new people and you're probably wondering, okay, I got everyone to order, now what? And it's like, how do I get them to reorder, but you don't want to seem pushy? So I love my binder and my follow-up system. So a follow-up system is a great way to get that repeat customer business and to make sure that no one falls through the cracks. Uh, there's a couple different things you can do. Some people do the AMI, Amy, it's digital, it's on your phone. It worked okay, but I always felt really overwhelmed if I got behind and I tried it out. It wasn't for me. Um, my favorite is the binder system. It works good for me and I've been doing it for um, two plus years now. Um, the best follow-up system is the one that works for you. So um, you can check out that AMI one online. But I want to walk you through what I use and hopefully it helps you. So I do what's called a 113 follow-up system. So um, I'm going to show you through how to do it. So in this binder, first section, I have a little tab and it says to be ordered. So this is where I'll fill out the order forms. And these are people I need to place. They've given me their orders, but I might be waiting on something or people who've pre-ordered and I'm waiting for the date. So these are people that have to be ordered. Um, next doop, 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 is, um, this is the three by five, the, the binders, I think I got the binder at Walmart maybe, or Office Depot, these little folder things, um, I had to order on Amazon because I couldn't find them in stores, but I have one that says orders, so these are anyone who I've ordered their product, but I'm waiting for it to come in. Next, I fill it up and I have pending delivery. So these are either online orders, because I just print off those online orders and stick them in here, or people who I've got their product in, I let them know, hey, I got your order in, but I haven't delivered it to them. Next up is one week. So one week after I deliver their product, or I put them in here, and then they get their, I check in with them one week after I delivered. So I have I took someone else's system and I made it better for me. So I took there and I made these um, little, so I can put their order date, which nine times out of 10, I don't fill that in because it's someone, basically they came over and bought something. Their delivery date. This person, I delivered her order, their order on 723. One week following. I should have checked in on Saturday, but Saturday I did a huge open house, so I haven't checked in yet. But once I check with, in with her one week after her order, I'll put a check mark. So basically one week, I'm just going to check in and see how they like the product. I'm not even trying to offer them anything else. It's just, how do you like their product? You know, you might find out, oh, I love this scent or, ooh, sometimes they do reorder, but normally it's just, uh, it's like, ooh, I love everything. Thank you so much for checking in. Awesome. Glad you love it. Short, sweet text message. So that's one week. And after I check in with them, then I'll put a check box and I move them to next one month so on our one month form here this one again it should have been eight one so i'll check in one month eight one i'll let them know hey Susie, just wanted to check in see how you're doing all your it's on all your sensi goodies um the new catalog just launched and it's full of an amazing some amazing new scents um do you need a refill on anything you know just make it you or i'll let them know whatever the weekly special is I do a lot of my stuff via text message because normally if I try to call on the phone, you get that awkward, how do you get off the phone? So I do text or Facebook message just because it's easier and it works for me. I used to hate phone, I still don't hate phone calls. Um, and so I never did them, but I do text messages and it works. One month. And they might say, yes, I need a reorder. Okay, so then I'll take and I'll file this one and I start them and they start at the beginning. She goes, no, I'm good, still good for now. I bought a lot last time. Okay, not a problem. So I'll put a check mark. Checked in with them at one month after I delivered the order. Don't need anything. So then they go to three months. So three months after I delivered their order, I'm going to check in again and see if they need anything. And if they say yes, okay, then I put them back to the beginning. If they say no, what I start doing is I leave this next one blank. So after three months, so if I get delayed behind, so this one, I won't check in with her till today. So today is 8-3. So then month four is going to be 9-3. Uh, 
So she, so I'll put that, that that's the next time. And if they say no, then okay, month three. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to check in at month four, five, and six after the date I delivered the order. After six months, so there's the three-month follow-up. Then they move over. They say no at three months. My handy-dandy binder. Then I flip over. One month, three month follow-up. This is where I'm going to follow up on month four, five, six. And if they still don't need any goodies at month four, five, six, then they go to three-month follow-up. That's the old label. So on three-month follow-up, grab one that actually has the good label on it. I switched my labels. So if they don't need anything on month four, five, six, then I'm going to follow up them for every three months. Shh. So I'll follow up with month six, month nine, month 12. So this is month 12. Then I'll follow up with month 15, 18, 21, and 24. After two years, if they haven't responded to how I'm doing to anything or they haven't ordered, I'll stop texting and following with them because I'm going, well, either one, you're not using your Sensi if you bought a six pack of ours for me two years ago and you haven't reordered, or B, you found someone else and you just haven't wanted to say it. So I'll stop. I'll leave them on my email list, but I'll stop wasting my time following with them after two years. Um, then I also have your loyalty punches. It's a I'll get into that next. Did I send them their thank you card? Have I added them to my VIP mailing list? And have I added all their information in the workstation? Normally, they're already in my workstation, um, but I added that one from like when I was doing events to make sure I was putting everyone in the workstation. So, loyalty. So, there's my... Yes, they'll get their one-month follow-up, three-month re-follow-up. Once... Yes, I have a lot of people on that one. If they reorder and they need to file, they go in this one. People who've joined. I keep blank order forms and I think a catalog with me so that way I can take it with me. So, loyalty punches. Um, one thing that I do to try and get repeat customers is I have a loyalty punch card. So, I do, after 12 items, you get a free bar of wax. Um, for the most part, it's... I don't let them just pick any bar. It has to be a bar that I have on hand. Um, and I do a free bar of wax just because that's what I buy at half price items. So I'm not spending that much. But then I also get to write it off on my taxes because it's a business expense. Um, so for their items, they get punched. You can either buy the punch cards. Um, I got tired of people always losing them. So I have a recipe card box and I file them by first name with index cards. I don't have them with me. I can show you that when I get home. Um, but what I'll do is, so like a six pack of bars, that's not six items, that's one item because they're already getting a bundle savings. Um, so for each item, so if they don't bundle their bars and they buy six bars individually, I'll give them six punches. And once you get 12 punches, you get a free bar of wax of your choice. Um, that is my loyalty punches that I give people. That's why I have that thing so I can make sure I give them punches. Um, the other thing is mailing list. Um, I can do your video again on how I do my VIP. I send out um, smell, I call it smell good mail. So basically the warm of the month flyer with a felt sample to anyone who's ordered in the past three months. So, um, the end of July, I sent out mail to anyone who'd ordered in May, June, or July got smell good mail. So August, I'll drop off May. So at the end of this month, I'll send out smell good mail to anyone who ordered in June, July, or August. Um, another thing that you can do if you're trying to get new customers Maybe implement a referral system. I have, if you refer me a new customer, you get a free bar of wax. But not just for referring. So say, Terry. Terry um, refers her friend Jenny to me. Well, once Jenny makes a purchase, then I will give Terry a free bar of wax. You can't just refer a new customer to me and get a bar of wax. You get your free bar after that person makes a purchase. So if you're just starting out and you're like, well, how am I going to grow your customer base? Well, maybe let all your customers know, hey, if you refer me a new customer, you're going to get blank after they make their first purchase. It could be a scent circle, you know, just something that is affordable to you. Just remember, keep track of all that because you can write it off as a business expense. Um, you, I know some people, they do, if they refer someone host a party, they refer a host, you know, find something that works. I do the free bar or car bar if they're far away because it's easier to ship and I don't have to worry about it melting. Um, that's a loyalty pen. So that is my follow-up system and some of the other things I do and I'll do some more videos each day this week showing different things. So 
Hope you all have a fantastic Monday and let me know if you have any questions.